through to Havertz, pokes it past Raya and just past the post. Wouldn't go in for Kai Havertz. He's got to score, Dance. He's 1v1. You have to hit the target from that position. I think you need an out and out goal scorer. For me, I don't think that would be the right signing. Well, the first question, I mean, Arsenal fans can dial in now before we have a chat about it. The first question is going to be Arsenal fans, do you want him? 0371 You've seen Kai Havertz. I have. Close, I, close yeah, up, as they say. Pretty much covered every game he's played with Chelsea. Yeah. Be, being a Chelsea fan, um, what's wrong with him? Are, are Chelsea not using him in the right position or is he just you know, a busted flush? Or? Okay, no, okay. So, Chelsea he, Chelsea bought him in, uh, during lockdown. His first game was away at Brighton. Frank played him on the right-hand side and he wasn't fully fit. He looked languid. He looked... And at that time, I said to my co-commentator at the time, he reminds me a little bit of Ozil. A little bit of that, you know, that languid way. Doesn't look like he cares. You know, that, that kind of bit of a stroller around the pitch, yeah. right? Anyway, obviously he got himself fit. I don't know where... Have, in what system do you play Havertz? You can't play a 4-3-3. Because he's not a number nine. He's not a front man. So he's a 10 for me. So the system has got to suit him. I have some sympathy with him because Chelsea haven't really played, I don't think, Chelsea have played him in his best position. And that's partly down to the fact that Chelsea haven't had number nine. He's filled in. Look, he scored the winning goal in the Champions League final. He do, can... do Chelsea fans love him? It's very mixed. It's very mixed. He's only 24. You know, When he came over... Everyone was saying he's a generational talent. And, and that's not to say he still might be. He's only 24. We're not talking about someone that's that's reached the peak and over the other side. The system, I think, has got to, to suit him as opposed to the... So there's certain players you can play in different systems and it still kind of works. Not with him. You can't. He has to play. I, he's got to play, I think, of a front man. I think that's will be the best for him. Timo Werner was, was kind of his partner for a bit up top. Timo really's not a nine either. He's no, definitely not a nine no. for me. Uh, he runs from deep. He stretches defences. Might give Kai a little bit more space. Um, I feel sorry for him, the fact that Chelsea have not... It, OK, for example, so everyone that can recognise, if you had Didier Drogba up top and you played him in behind Didier, I'd be interested to see how that was. How that Like, kind of, like that, who? Like a matter? Like he used to play for Chelsea? Yeah, but it depends on... Again, it's about the system for Kai. I know, Kai, but I, I just can't... You know, when Drogba played up top... We you, played, Chelsea played 4 3, three yeah. normally, right? So Chelsea never played with, a, with, a, with a, a 10, really. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to play him, he he's, he plays in... I think his best position is going to be in behind the front so, man. So for argument's sake, it would be like just in front or alongside Odegaard... Yes. ...with, with party and maybe if they get Declan Rice yeah, yeah. behind. But again, this, you've got to get the system right. Because uh, Arsenal largely played four three three, right? Where does he? W I know that Odegaard would well, kind have of, to change the three. Uh, the back. Odegaard, Odegaard would kind of be a little bit like a ten when it was like a four two yeah, three one exactly at, right. at times, right? But that's how they kind of went. You've got, but if you, how does o him and Odegaard fit in the same team? Well, then I think you probably got to change the sh the shape again. Well, I don't, you you've got to change the three at the back, right? Well, that, well then that then that accommodates it. So he's a, he's, but he's then a, you lose your a, width at the back. Well, he's a bit of a curious one, Havertz, because. There's no doubting his ability. No, there's no doubt there's ability there. But how many times as a Chelsea fan can I look back and go, Kai Havertz today? Wow. wow. Not many. No. Not many. Ever? <laughs> wow. Not not what a good goal or how important the goal is, but wow. There a wow been, performance. There have, there have been halves where you've gone, yeah. I mean, he, he, technically, he's a brilliant footballer. For for me, though, he lacks well, a little bit. Of, a little, he lacks a bit of heart, mate. In, in a, in a, if, if you're in a battle, I'm not sure he's the man you want. Okay. If if Arsenal are going to play him as a ten, mm -hmm. why don't Chelsea use him as a ten? You ain't got a front man. Well, you've got Jogba coming. Um, Lukaku coming back. <laughs> yeah, but it, no, but what? But you're going to get a front man. No, but the problem is he's played up front. No, he's been the front. Man. You're going to get a number nine, right? Well, you'd like to think so. Well, you will. You'd like to think so. Right? Yeah, so why like don't you keep him and use him in that preferred role as the 10? I think that I think the trial may have finished for him. I think there might be one of those that, look, we've seen enough of this. It hasn't quite worked. Move him on. Now, it's not to say that he won't succeed at Arsenal. I'm not saying that for one second. Arteta might be looking saying, Chelsea have actually let him down. Not that he's let Chelsea down. Chelsea have let him down mm -hmm. by not playing him in his best position and working on him. There's been so much upheaval. You think about when he joined in, in, in during COVID. Frank Lampard came in. Frank went. He came in, um, Tuchel, won the Champions League. He scored the winning goal in the Champions League mm -hmm. final. 
He ain't going to do that for Arsenal, by the way. Just, just let you know that. Mm. Um, and then all of a sudden, two years later, or 18 months later, Potter comes in. So there's been a lot of that around him. There's not, there's not been stability. At Arsenal, I think he'll be going into a club that's far more stable. And if Arteta has seen something in his game where he's looking, going, it, I can get something out of him. I've, I, I, I know the player that's in there, and there's no doubt that the boy's talent. There's no doubt about that at all. But it's about getting it and realising it. The thing for me, if I was an Arsenal fan, if you sorry, that would that would 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 concern me is it, it goes missing. He lacks a little bit of steel, a little bit of fight. Lacks a little... He can drift out of games very, very quickly. Let, let but me ask you, you, as a Chelsea fan, when, when Man City sold Chelsea's in check on Jesus, yeah. I'm looking at that yeah. thinking, that's weird, Man City have made Arsenal stronger. Mm. As a Chelsea fan, if they mm. get Kai Havertz, as a Chelsea fan, will you be thinking, we've made Arsenal stronger? Not at the moment, but that's not to say that he can't turn into that player to make them stronger. Okay. I don't think too many... I don't think there's too many Chelsea fans out there worried about this move... But he's 24, and in two years' time, we might be... Odegaard, right? Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid might be looking at Odegaard going to Arsenal going, ooh. Well, you said that their midfield's oh. pretty good at the moment. No, what I'm saying, that we, no one saw that. In fact, no. even at Arsenal in his first season, no one saw the Odegaard we saw last season. No, you're right. So maybe Carteta's looked at that and thought, I've turned Odegaard into this player, one of the best creative midfielders in the country. Maybe he's looked at uh, Havertz thinking, I can do the same to you. How much should you pay for him? 70? I think he pays 75. How much would you get for him? I think anything over 60 is decent, actually. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, there's talking okay. about getting 70, 70 million. I mean, yeah, Arsenal pays 70 million. I mean, done. that's getting your money back almost, yeah. isn't it? By the way, you know you said he won't score the Champions League winner for Arsenal. Yeah. He definitely won't be scoring it for Chelsea if he stays. <laughs> uh, He's already done pro- that, though. Huh? He's already done that. Again. 03717223 Arsenal fans, do you want him? Chelsea fans, will you be devastated? Or maybe not devastated. Will you? You'd be upset to see him go. 0371722344 would take your calls. In- Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.